Hello, here we are again at the Creative Council campaign networking event. I'm joined with David, who I believe is the councillor for Kingston and Surbiton. Is that right? No. <laughs> who are you? I, I, there is, Surbiton is one of the neighbourhoods of the Royal Borough of Kingston, and it has a steering committee for the implementation of the community plan, and I'm on that community plan. I member. Resident member. Um, so what do you do as a resident member? Well, the, uh, the steering committee of the Neighbourhood Community Plan meets uh, in order to discuss the uh, specifics of the implementation of the community plan. Uh, and because it's a very you know, uh, sort of a broad brush, uh, if you like, uh, setup, we, we, we sort of concentrate on a number of specific issues which we decided to prioritise. So amongst those are um, uh, the use of space and asset management, uh, facilities for young people, uh, uh, sustainability and environment, and uh, safety and policing. Now, are, are people responding to this? What kind of, what level of interest have you achieved? Uh, well, the, there was, back in 2010, a much more large-scale consultation on it at the moment. And what we tried to do was try to get a core team of implementers together to get on with the implementation. So it's difficult to know uh, what the feedback is from the community about the, about the way things have, uh, have shaken out, because it's still early days. But some uh, larger-scale projects have, have been implemented. There's been, it was an improvement scheme, which is part of the Council's uh, improvement plan for Surbiton. That's been implemented, and I understand that's been you know, well-received by the community. So that's one of the things that we've, um, it's been part of our remit to, to discuss that, but it's not one of the things that we're implementing in more detail. What does it mean to be a resident member? What's your sort of, what's your contribution and how much time do you have to give to this? Um, not a great deal of time is required at the moment because what we're doing is, well, we're providing feedback and we're, we are airing, um, if you like, topics to try to determine what might be specific uh, areas, specific actions to implement, uh, you know, what what people were looking for under the community plan. So, for example, when it comes to spaces for young people, uh, we decided that a good thing to do would be to to talk to the people that are operating venues like McDonald's, which has got an upstairs, which they sometimes sort of let for uh, activities. Speak to the owners of those enterprises and ask them if they can't perhaps change their working patterns in a way to make them more accessible for young people. So that's a concrete thing that came out of the steering committee. Um, so it's working. Yeah, I would say it is working, but um, it, it's working very much according to sort of the council's timetable, if you like. Uh, I think one of the reasons that I'm, I'm here uh, with uh, now talking about you know finding out more about um, uh, parish councils and the way that town council would be, could set up in London is to find out is, is there a way for communities who've got um, interest in, in specific things you know, to take to move further and faster on those topics. So that's, that's really why I'm here, uh, to find out more about that and to learn from what the people in, uh, you know, in, in um, Queen's Park have done and in Halston, etc. It's very interesting. Yeah, it's, it's been very successful as well so far. Thank you very much for, uh, for giving us your words of wisdom.